What's up YouTube? It's me again, Sorge Pro. I'm going to show you this office, a very cool office. If you're a network engineer, a systems engineer, you basically you need to fix these wires, everything. They should be properly put in a rack because this one, it's a bad day every day and you wouldn't want to. Ah, so what we did, we transformed this one into something like that. Yes, like that. Oh, that's cool, guys. While the project is going on, I recorded some footage so that I can share with you how, how we can transform these things into something that is presentable and something you would like to work on if you're a network or systems administrator. Yeah, I want to thank my friend Jomar because he invited me so that I can record this footage here. Um, they are an IT service provider within our area here. It's JVC Enterprises. Uh, our client is a branch office of a car company. We need to finish it within five hours because after that, the company should go back online and operate. We need to do it fast and make sure that everything is working fine by the time it goes online. There are shortcomings within the project and I'm going to give you that one later on after the video so that um, you get to watch how we did it first. So come on, let's do it. Bam. Let's start with the server rack or what we call data cabinet. Now we need to assemble these ones because you know, you cannot deliver this one assembled. If you want to know more about the things we used here, I'll put a link on the description below. Those are Amazon referral link. So if you get to buy one of those things, I get some kind of referral fee, so it would help this channel. Now we need to put in a symbol, that's the fan cooling system of the data cabinet. We need to attach the PDU, power distribution unit at the back. And while that's being fixed, we can start and clean out these things so that we can put in the data cabinet inside. wires so that we can put in the patch panel and twist the twisted pairs quick and easy these are the patch panel they have indicators at the back so it's easier to punch them so it will look like this in the back you get to arrange accordingly with the color coding it has on the back panel. And this is how you use these patch panels and the punch down tool. We need to punch around 50, yeah, it's around 50 wires. So I'll just show you a bit of a sample here and kind of do a bit of fast forward. Okay, that's a 
that's how it looks like the back if you have noticed we were not able to mount the switches on the rack because the rack mount kits were left on our office so the guys here will come back the following day and mount the switches it's time to plug the cables from the switch to the patch panels so that it would look good on the server that you have here they are using Dell T30 I guess yeah and it's turning on we are going to mount the wall mount of the TV that's the server of the CCTV this is the switch PoE switch of the CCTV so it's the HOA and that's the PoE switch of the access points that's the router it's time to clamp in the door and we're about done in the final is the final look I think that is a much better server room. It looks neat and clean. So here are a couple of things we could have done uh, with the server room, but uh, we we're not able to do. Number one was the labeling of the cables. So they were wrapped with tapes. The team will go back there and kind of relabel those things so that it will be labeled properly for ease of troubleshooting. And we should have mounted the uh, switches, but um, the rack mount kits were not with us uh, it's kind of i think it's left in the office so <laughs> again they, they need to mount those things up well anyway it was it was good we were able to finish the job and uh, those are only a couple of things they could have we could have done if it's your first time here in my youtube channel and you like the videos i make make sure to subscribe and share this to your friends like this video because it helps this channel grow help me make a dream of 100,000 subscribers goodbye and see you in my next video